Today I want to focus on Matthew 24 verse 8 where Jesus spoke to his disciples and he spoke to them about all these things that's going to happen in the end time. And then he says, in, after he's warned them that nations will rise against nations, he speaks to them that there will be famine and there will be earthquakes in various places. And then he says to them, all these are the beginning of birth pains. I just want to focus on the word birth pains quickly. We are aware that birth pains forces the birth. Once a woman goes into labor and she begins to experience pains, there's no stopping her. The birth pains continue to become more intense, it becomes more frequently, and you know, she cannot turn back from that. That means birth is going, is, it's, it's on the way, the baby is about to be born. So Jesus used this analogy, and I simply feel that if we look at the current state of the world, um, we're going into the, it's over um, a year and a half that it's, we're still under lockdown, we're still sitting with this pandemic and now we hear that there's a new variant. And if you think about it, things are going to become more intense just like the birth pains. And that is what Jesus spoke about. The birth pains of this corona crisis is, is that it's becoming more intense and it's becoming more frequent. It's becoming more dangerous and it's all because of what Jesus prophesied if you think about it. Um, and I think what is happening now is, you know, these birth pains happen because it, it, it starts to bring the woman out of her comfort zone. Okay, you are in that comfort zone of being pregnant for however many months and then suddenly water breaks and the birth pains start. So now this is what's happening to the church. We need to know, we are in labor and we need to be able to identify the birth pains and we need to be able to look at the world globally, universally, internationally and identify what's happening around us. Because now there's a new variant, there's a new uh, strand and you know everybody's up in arms again. And that, this just exactly speaks about what Jesus meant when he says birth pains. Things are going to become more intense and things are going to become more frequent. And this is just to wake us up, to wake us up from our current slumber, from our current state of laziness, from our current state of, you know, we need to preach the gospel. We need to go out and preach the gospel. And that is what Jesus told us to do. We need to be focused on what is happening around us so that we can identify the birth pains that Jesus spoke about. If you read Matthew 24, and I hope you will study it, the full chapter where God, where Jesus speaks to his disciples and he explains to them what is going to happen in the end times. I'm not saying it's end times now. I'm not saying the second coming, uh, you know, is it's close, but we possibly, we obviously not there yet. A lot still needs to happen if you understand the word of God that will bring us into, um, take us into the next age. But if we look all around us as Christians, we should be able to identify where we are on the biblical calendar of the end times, where we are moving to, where we are coming out of and where we are, where we are moving to. So if you feel that you're in a comfort zone, you need to realize that this is a time that you have to wake up and make drastic changes in your life and allow God to, to, to work in your life and help you to go to the next level of whatever it is that he needs to take you because time clearly is running out. Time is running out and we need to focus on what it is that God wants us to do with our lives, with our gifts and with our talents. Have a blessed day.